Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves and high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video, please. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video, please? What messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this? Thank you. We start off with the Three of Cups coming together, celebration, joy. I'm also hearing merriment. Um, celebrating, coming together, reunion of some type. Reunion and celebration. What other messages for Pisces, please? I'm, I'm also um, hearing three sisters. So you could have three sisters or be one of three sisters. Obviously, that won't be for everyone. Um, what other messages do you have for Pisces? Thank you. And then here, Pisces, we are getting the Ace of Cups. And a new emotional beginning, aces, new beginnings, potential of new beginnings, cups, emotions. Celebrating a new beginning. Then we have the five of pentacles. This particular five of pentacles for me as a reader is about things coming in. Fives are about changes. Pentacles are about tangible, so tangible changes occurring in your 3D reality. Then we see the energy of change reinforced here with the Six of Swords moving forward, coming out of troubled waters into calmer waters. We have been seeing the Six of Swords in your readings quite a bit lately. You are in transition. You are moving from something very difficult into something much, I'm hearing placid, much more calm. Then the next card we have is the Six of Coins. A graduation from the five of coins to the six of coins, weighing out the scales. I'm, I'm also hearing weighing out the coffers. Um, coffers are, I believe, when you're in church, you have the church coffers that you um, put the money in. So it's maybe weighing out how much you are currently having, how much you might hold, not just financially, but materially. What other messages for Pisces here, please? Moving towards a much more balanced state as well, making sure things are balancing out for you. The five is an a, a, um, odd number and the six is an even number. So transitioning from um, unevenness or imbalance, transitioning to balance. So something's coming in to help you come out of imbalance and move into balance. What other message for Pisces here? And we have two more messages. Um see here this one came out first so we'll look at this then we have the moon you don't see it now and because you don't see it now you could be stuck in this mental energy but the ten of swords speaks about something coming to an end the anguish the trauma the pain coming to the end you don't see now something is balancing out in your life that you don't see that is going to bring this this cycle this this trauma this pain to a ten to an end. The 10 is a one plus zero, which is a one, which means there's a new beginning here. The potential of a new beginning here for you because something is being balanced out. Let's dive in. What is this three of cups for Pisces, please? Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about this three of cups? I, I'm hearing the balancing out, the root catalyst of your balancing out is based upon your center of joy. If you are able to find joy in difficulty, finding joy in hardship, you are going to give birth to a new beginning that will bring in something where you'll enable, it'll, which bring in something that will enable you to balance out, even though you don't see it now, this difficult cycle is coming to an end. What is this Three of Cups for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this Three of Cups? What is this Three of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? And we are having the Nine of Cups. This is quite great. So we are seeing 
The cups are emotions. And we were just speaking about emotions, finding your center of joy, finding the things that bring you joy, focusing on your wish fulfillment, focusing on the desires of your heart rather than focusing on the opposite of that, the things that are bringing you low, that are the difficulties. Not focusing on that, but choosing. This is an active choice to focus on your joy and your wish fulfillment. Let's dive into this Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is Pisces energy. What is this Nine of Cups for Pisces? For the Nine of Cups, we are getting the Eight of Wands. This is an energetically moving forward, moving you forward where your focus goes is where your energy is manifesting. Queen of Wands speaks about manifesting power, law of attraction, forward looking. You can see the Queen of Wands here, the Ace of Wands, a new beginning in the right hand. What you put out into the world is what will blossom in your world. In the left hand, receiving from the left hand. And then what is this Ace of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? What is Pisces? Thank you. For the Ace of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles. This is about where you're focusing your work, focusing your energy on this new beginning, focusing on emotional renewal, cleansing out. What is this Three of Pentacles? You may also be coming together with people to work on something. A new beginning may pave way for a new project, a new team. The Three of Pentacles here is clarified by the four of cups here we have the ace of cups so you this is something you you may not be seeing that is coming in a blessing because you're so focused I, okay so i'm hearing when you're no longer focusing on what you want and you're focusing instead on the joy of, of having a spirit of gratitude of thanksgiving of enjoying the moment that's when it's going to come in. When you're focused on something else, that's when your Ace of Cups is coming in. And that often that that basically is the law of attraction that we were just saying here is when you release it and you start, you're like, you set your intention and make your intention known and then release it and focus on something else. It frees up that energy, the energy moving forward to bring in that Ace of Cups because you're going to be focused on something else and allowing room for that to come in what is this five of coins for pisces what is this five of coins for pisces please spirit what is this five of coins for the five of coins we're having the seven of cups so some of you have been imbalanced because you're fragmented you're distracted you're allowing a lot of different things to come into your energy that to be honest with you some of you know are not healthy for you entertaining people that aren't good for you entertaining substances substances that aren't good for you whatever this is the fragmentation is what is putting you off balance and it's time for you to really get control to reground yourself in order to come into alignment let's clarify these Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about the Seven of Cups? What is this fragmentation? What is the Seven of Cups, please? For the Seven of Cups, we are getting the Seven of Wands and the Five of Cups. You also have your walls up, many of you. Many of you have your walls up to try to, I'm hearing self-preservation, but to guard against further disappointment. You have had events fragment you you have had expectations of situations that have led you to disappointment. So you have put your walls up, your defenses up, your guard up, however that resonates for you. Um, and this is what has actually put you off balance. A situation we see three of, we see here in the five of cups, focus on the past, a past situation has effectively blocked you, detoured you, fragmented you, and because it has pro been a little bit prolonged, it has brought you out of balance. So now we're needing to come in and get a new foundation. This is about basically you at a crossroads, Pisces, saying, I understand and recognize that this thing, this situation has happened. And as a result, 
I might be guarded as a result. I'm you fill in the blank of what you're experiencing in your um, your life. But what we're seeing here is is needing to reground yourself. What is this hierophant for Pisces? Hierophant is Taurus energy. So some of you may have had an alter altercation with a Taurus. Um, not all of you. Then the King of Wands taking control. Really seeing clearly the King of Wands is the match, the pairing to the Queen of Wands. The difference being the Queen of Wands is in the feminine energy. The King of Wands is in the masculine energy. What I'm hearing as I'm saying this is take control. Hierophant is about control now during Sagittarius season. Looking over the situation, coming to terms with the reality of your imbalance is going to help you align. What is the star card? Star is Aquarius. Healing. What is the star for Pisces? What is the star for Pisces, please? And being drawn to the the water within the, within the card. Healing. Some of you literally need to drink more water. I mean, it's, it's a simple message like that. Like, drink more water, please. But here it's about hope, about healing, about replenish, uh, replenishing um, some of you may have, and this is not a medical message, this is not medical guidance. Um, some of you may have an electrolyte imbalance as well, or dehydration. And we have the star clarifying the star. So this is confirmation again. I'll get one more deck and clarify the star. One more layer deep since we have a double star. Let's get that deck now. Spirit, what is this star for Pisces? This could also be Aquarius season, but I'm not really feeling Aquarius season as much as I'm feeling the energy of renewal by water, renewal and having hope. Um, your fragmentation, your imbalance may have caused you to even put your guard up against having hope and having um, like desires about wish fulfillment. What is the star for Pisces, please? What is a star for Pisces, please, Spirit? And we have the King of Pentacles. So this is about success. This is about you feeling you have the ability to move forward. You feeling you have the ability to heal, to have success. The King of Pentacles is masculine earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you may need to heal from a situation that occurred during an earth season, an earth zodiac season, or from an altercation or interaction with an earth sign. That's, you know, obviously going to be for some of you. What is this six of swords for Pisces, please? Too many. What is this six of swords for Pisces, please, spirit? But you're moving forward. I mean, this is the thing. We, we have been seeing a trajectory that Pisces has been dealing with so much ish and healing from it, assimilating the lessons, but you're moving forward. This is a period of moving forward. So whether you recognize it or not, you are evolving, you are moving, you are in transit right now. What is the Six of Swords? What is the Six of Swords for Pisces? Thank you, two cards. The first one is the Fool. Literally, you're moving forward to a new beginning. You may not see it now, you're already on your way. You're already in your boat. You, you, you're already turning your back to troubled waters. You've made the choices here, Fool, Aries, Lovers, Gemini. You've already made the choice to move forward towards something new. The Whether you recognize it or not, the choice to heal, the choice to have accountability, the choice to no longer interact with what you used to interact the choice to come out of fragmentation was what really put that boat in the water and helped you move forward. What is this fool card for Pisces? For the fool, we're getting the fool. So this is a pretty powerful energy here, Pisces, because we're having major arcana repeating. We are having the star and the fool. This is alignment towards a new beginning. A successful, King of Pentacles, successful alignment towards a new beginning here. So let's see what this, oh, one more. And the Four of Swords, moving forward towards healing, towards respite, towards recovery. The Four of Swords speaks about peace. And what is this lovers please for Pisces? 
What is this? Lovers for Pisces. Thank you. For the lovers, we're getting the Nine of Wands. So making a choice to come out of the wounded warrior energy, to come out of that cycle of difficulty. Some of you may have had a, a medical procedure. Some of you may have um, been going through some type of treatment as well. Let's clarify this fool here. What is this fool for Pisces? What is this fool? I'm, I'm, I'm also hearing some of you just have got, been going through hardship after hardship. Um, here we have the seven of wands for the second time. So really making a choice to be very determined to go forward. This is going to require you to re release your guard, but understanding in the first place why your guard was up is going to help you to lower your defenses. And instead of using your energy to defend for self-preservation, you're using your energy to be determined to go towards a peaceful new beginning. What is this Four of Swords, please? What is this Four of Swords, please? What is this Four of Swords, please? Thank you. For the Four of Swords, we're getting the tower. So we do have a tower coming in. Let's see what's, one more deck and we'll get this tower. What is this tower, please? What is this tower for Pisces? Thank you. And for this tower, we're getting the Nine of Pentacles. So this is very positively aspected. This is a new peaceful beginning that suddenly occurs where you're independent, self-sufficient, and something is coming to you that's going to empower you. So this is about your empowerment as you choose, Pisces, to come out of fragmentation, out of imbalance, which you have been doing for quite a while. You're already in transition. There's new things coming. You are aligning. You are realigning. You're moving forward towards this new beginning. What is this nine of wands for Pisces? What is this nine of wands? This nine of wands is looking back over the past saying, oh my gosh, look at all that I have gone through. Look at all that I have grown through. What is this nine of wands? Thank you. For the nine of wands here, Pisces, we can't even star twice, star clarifying the star. Fool clarifying the fool, nine of wands clarifying the nine of wands. That is a very core message here, is that as you come into alignment, you're having a new beginning and releasing the nine of wands energy. Let's see what the six of coins is. Spirit, what does Pisces need to know about the six of coins? What is the six of coins for Pisces? Thank you. For the six of coins, we have, a, we have the emperor. This is about balancing out logical to decisions Aries energy again. What is this emperor for Pisces? What is this emperor for Pisces, please, spirit? What is this emperor for Pisces, please? Okay, we have quite a few things here. So we have the lovers coming out again for the second time. The choices you make are going to help bring you into balance out of toxic situations and repeating toxic karmic cycles. So we're seeing needing needing to take control, which you are. I do see in this message that many of you have made the decision to focus on your joy, focus on your wish fulfillment and what you want to manifest. That's bringing something new in as you're focused on other areas of your life, on your joy, the, the new opportunity is gonna come into you. You have been fragmented, you have been imbalanced because you have past situations, past disappointments, past grief. Some of you may also be in mourning, but here regrounding yourself and realigning yourself, you're already in you you are already in transition moving forward to this new beginning. And as you reclaim your energy from defensiveness and put it into determination, this is about moving out of defensiveness and moving, using that energy to move into determination. We see balancing out, taking control, making a decision to come out of karmic cycles or passing the test on karmic cycles. What is this moon? What is this moon for Pisces, please? For the moon, we're having the page of wands and the hangman. So a message about coming out of a difficult situation or an opportunity here that you don't see coming yet. Let's clarify these two. What is this page of wands for Pisces? What is this page of wands for Pisces? Thank you. And we have the two of swords and what is this hangman? 
What is this hangman for Pisces, please, Spirit? And we have the two of wands. So we see decisions here. You are going to come to the point here, Pisces, that you don't see yet. The moon is Pisces energy. The hangman is Pisces energy. So it could be very, it could very well be that during Pisces season, which you guys more than likely know in Pisces season is as you are Pisces, mid-February to mid-March, um, you could come across decisions here that need to be made. Let, let's dive into these decisions just, just a little bit more. Excuse me, what is this Two of Swords? And we see that logical decisions are going to be needed to be made um, regarding this situation. What is this Two of Swords, please? And we have the Knight of Cups of Romantic Offer, Gesture, Proposal, something coming in. So you don't see it now, but in in um, you will have an opportunity coming in. It could be an opportunity to have an opportunity to have emotional change or to take action regarding an opportunity. Regarding an opportunity. What is this Two of Wands, please? What is this Two of Wands for Pisces? This could also be a release, a cathartic release, an energetic release, an emotional release that is occurring. One more. What is this Two of Wands for Pisces? Thank you. And for the Two of Wands, we have the Death card. Yes. Yeah, so this is what we're seeing. As we were saying, emotional release, letting go, making a decision to end a cycle, making a decision to come out of hangman mode because your perspective is changing and you're letting go. Here together we have the Knight of Cups and the Death card both riding in the direction of the future. This is an opportunity that is coming in that is going to provide a rebirth for you. What is this Death card for Pisces, please? What do we need to know about this Death card? And we have the Eight of Wands. So this is an energetic shift moving forward. Eight of Wands twice in the message so far. Now let's see what's going on in this Ten of Swords. So what is this Ten of Swords for Pisces, please, Spirit? What does Pisces need to know about? Thank you. For the Ten of Swords, we're getting... This is beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> we have the Ten of Swords with the Six of Wands. You are overcoming these challenges, Pisces. You are overcoming the Ten of Swords. Remember how when the Ten of Swords first came out, we spoke about transmuting the 10, one plus zero into one, an ace of swords. You have learned the lessons. You are successfully overcoming this cycle. What type of cycle can it be? A toxic, karmic, difficult, dark cycle. Some of you may have been in um, the dark night of the soul as well. What is the six of wands for Pisces? What is the six of wands for Pisces, please, spirit? What do we need to know about the six of wands? This is recognition and reward for the work you have been doing and getting through. And then we have judgment. Following your calling, your life path. This is your rebirth. This is your awakening. Successfully coming through the darkness to a place where you're having rebirth transformation. What is this judgment for Pisces? What is this judgment for Pisces, please, Spirit? And we have the Page of Cups. So this is a, a rebirth, Pisces, an, an awakening, a new emotional beginning as well for you. So this is a very, very positive reading that we're seeing here, Pisces, that you're already in your on the path to putting this chapter behind you. Let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces. Some of, some of you have already begun to feel the load lighten. As you're making decisions to focus on your joy, as you're making decisions to focus on not what has been problematic, but what has been promising, focusing on the promise, focusing on changing that energy from defensiveness towards and using it for determination instead. What One card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. And here we have power. Recognizing your inner strength, your power, coming together, remembering who you are. This particular image is half lion and half human. Remembering your inner fortitude and your strength within yourself. 
to get in that boat and come out of move into calmer waters spirit one oracle for pisces one oracle for pisces for this reading please spirit one oracle for thank you peace this is what we were talking about moving into calmer waters a new beginning that will be peaceful peace i am a being of love and i release all negative energy and this is what we're seeing here pisces is coming out balancing yourself coming out of a of a negative karmic toxic energy or cycle or situation spirit one angel oracle for this reading for pisces one angel oracle for pisces for this reading please spirit please be clear show us what we need thank you take action and you are many of you most of you have already, as we stated earlier, have already begun to take action. You have been taking action for quite a while. And whether you recognize it or not, you're already moving into calmer waters. Spirit, one fortune cookie oracle to close out this reading for Pisces. One fortune cookie oracle to close out this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. Please show them what they need to see, please, Spirit. Please show Pisces what they need to see. Thank you. We have three cards coming out today. And the first one we have here is burnout. So some of you are definitely feeling burnt out. We have the nine of wands clarifying the nine of wands. That is burnout. That is just full stop burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And we did speak about health a little bit earlier. Some of you may, as we stated, may have an, as simple as a, an electrolyte imbalance or dehydration, but we did mention earlier about needing to take care of your health. Planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future financial gains and more are more than likely. That's what we're speaking about within the Hierophant here, Taurus energy is about planning and then luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. So this is what we're seeing. We have victory here, Pisces. Victory because you have decided to take action. You're taking action now and you took action then to come out of a situation that you knew was not a match to you and that you had already learned the lessons, assimilated the information, and knew it was time to release. Hangman, you knew it was time to release this energy and these situations, these peoples, these peoples. <laughs> but here what we're ultimately seeing, Pisces, is you are in the process of coming out of imbalance and coming into balance. You're already moving into calmer waters. You may not see what's ahead, but there are new opportunities and an energetic shift that are coming to you now. We do see be careful of burnout. It's going to be important to plan and luck is on your side at this time. So moreover, what's going to help facilitate you moving forward into those calmer waters is focusing on your joy, focusing on your wish fulfillment. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.